Hi, I'm Tom Martino. Bill Bronchick with me from the Colorado Association of Real Estate Investors. By the way, we're going to talk some investment in real estate. People get burned in real estate with a recession. Some people make a lot of money. Some people make money, lose money. But over the long run, Bill's a solid believer in real estate. I guess I am, too, because even though I've lost a lot of money, I guess over the years, if you, if you do the pluses and minuses, it's not that bad. And real estate is never zero, Bill. Never zero. Stocks it goes up zero. And, goes up and down in the short term, but over the long run, 10 to 15 years, generally, with few exceptions, real estate will go up at or better than the pace of inflation. So we're going to talk about his seminar coming up and how you can get some free tickets. This is very important. This is a useful seminar, by the way. You learn a lot. He's got a lot of great people speaking. But let's talk about the market. Okay. Have we hit bottom? I think so. Uh, at least in the part where investors are primarily investing, which is the low end, 200 and under, even 250 and under. The high the end of the market, uh, and I say high end, I mean 400 to yeah. a million, that may still adjust a little more because that's not a, generally where investors are buying houses. No. That's where consumers are buying houses. Okay, and investors who buy houses, what do you recommend? Rentals, fix and flips, uh, what? College housing for your kid to appreciate someday what? Well, uh, if you want to generate cash now, if that's your goal, then flips. Fix and flip. Buy a property cheap from a They're bank. They're still viable. Still viable. Buy it. Fix it up. Buy it right. Don't overfix it. Sell it at a reasonable price that it's going to move within 30 days, and then cash out. Not All very right. complicated. I guess for the beginning of time, we've been saying buy low, sell high. Mm -hmm. But everyone wants to buy when everyone else is buying. Right now, people are afraid to buy, and actually, this is the time people should be buying. Exactly. They should be buying at the bottom. It was interesting. I was watching on the Today this Show This is the, the time to make money. They, they were talking on the Today Show about the, some a weird story about investors buying up houses at the bottom of the market. Like, it was so unusual, and no one ever heard of this before, because well, most people think this is the wrong time to buy when it's actually the best time. Well, and I'll tell you why, okay? In the mid-'80s... When real estate was low, or in the low, early to mid-80s, uh, when it was really crashing, do you remember that? Mm -hmm. I remember buying up real estate, and people thought I was nuts, but then it came back. Then we had a little slight recession again, and it came back. I think people think each time the recessions get a little worse, and they're afraid it won't come back. Don't you think there's a fear out there? There that always is a fear that it'll never come back. But, right. Um, I if I lived in Detroit, I'd really worry about that. But we're not in Detroit. We're in Denver. We're in a vibrant economy where people want to live. Um, we have more people still moving in than moving out. So on the long run, real estate values will go up because we have a different economy and than it, other and cities. And even if they don't go up to where they were... You can still make money at this market. True. You can buy real estate now at 30, 40 percent discounts, rent them out. And if they never go up in value, you still make money because the, as you collect rents, you pay down the mortgage and increase your equity. Exactly. Exactly. So someone else is paying for your investment. Exactly. But they are going to go up. What do you suspect? When are we going to climb out of this? When do you think prices will? Because we have, we have low interest. So when do you think we will start on the road back as far as climbing? I values? think we'll see things getting better next summer because uh, it's pretty apparent that the Republicans are going to probably take one of the houses. That means the government does nothing from that point on because there's too much fighting. And that So we're actually talking about it's it's actually better. You're saying it's better when the government stays out of the of the market. Oh, absolutely. People like it best when government does nothing. And they feel more secure. Exactly. When they know the government's not involved in their life. In so their we business. want that fighting in government because we want them debating. Yes. And That's when one party, whether it's Republican or Democrat, control everything, too much happens. Exactly. And people wait to see what's going to happen next. Exactly. That's a very good theory. What do you do at your seminar? What can people look forward to? They could look forward to learning all facets of real estate investing in today's economy. Anything now, when they go there, is it another come on to buy more stuff, to buy more stuff, to buy more stuff? Or can they walk away from there knowing what's Some of our speakers do have things right. for sale, okay. but there's going to be a lot of information given at the seminar that people can walk away with. And also networking. Yeah, that's the most important part. We're going to have over 700 people at this event, and where else can you meet that many movers and shakers in one week? Many investors who want other investors to, to, to pull with. Without a doubt. Without so a doubt. you can find partners to mm -hmm. work with. Here you are at the seminar. It's a very big one, by the way, and uh, you, you can find people to partner with, people who want to buy property, people who want to sell property, right? Mm -hmm. So you have all kinds of people there. Then you have experts. As you say, they may have books, they may have tapes. The point is you will learn enough here to get started. Oh, without a doubt. And for the admission price, 
it's only a small investment. It's really whether people will commit a weekend to changing their financial picture. That's what and it's, it's all about. And it's Saturday and Sunday, the 2nd and 3rd of second October. 2nd and 3rd of October. That's the convention, Saturday and Sunday, October 2nd and October 3rd. It's the Real Estate Investors Wealth Building convention, uh, convention. How many have you done so far? What is this one? This is our 12th annual. The 12th one. Wow. Crown Plaza Hotel, DIA. It's a very big facility. You will love it. October 2nd and 3rd. Crown Plaza Hotel, DIA. Now, here's the best part. Man, did people take advantage of this last week. But it's very important. I'm going to tell you this right now. We're going to give away 20 free tickets. No, 40. I mean, the first 20 people, you each get a pair of tickets. That's 40 tickets in all. But for the first 20 people to email us, the first 20 only, you must include a phone number because Bill could not call back many people last week. So he gave it to the first 20 with phone numbers that he could get a hold of. So the first 20 people will give you the email. If you email us with phone numbers, you will get into the convention absolutely free. Two tickets each. The first 20 people. Here's the email address. Live, right at the bottom there, live at martino.tv. Live at martino.tv. Please include a phone number, live at martino.tv. Here's the number for the Colorado real estate uh, investors. Now, here's what I want to tell you, the Association of Real Estate Investors. If you're not going to the convention, if you can't make it, you may want to join them anyway. Just see what they have to offer. 303-398-7035. 303-398-7035. Or visit realestateconvention.com. Realestateconvention.com.